Hello, I'm so glad you can join me today. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today, I am making another favorite of Barbados, and I've made these before. I'm making bakes. Now, I've made bakes before in a previous video, but I had a few people that commented because when I made those bakes, I didn't put baking powder in my bakes. So some people wrote me asking where is the baking powder because they, people are used to having baking powder inside of the bakes. But there's two ways to make bakes. You can make it with or without baking powder. The first time I made it, I chose um, to eliminate the baking powder because I like that hard texture. So that's why I did it that way. Now today, I will be making bakes again with baking powder inside of it so you will see the second way to make it okay so come along with me while i make some bajan bakes so the first thing i have here is some flour and this is two cups of flour that i have here that i sieved that's two cups of flour and I have here three fourth cups of sugar. But remember, you can put a cup of sugar, you can put less sugar. There's always up to your preference. But right now, this is two third cups of sugar that I will add to that. And everything when you're making bakes, you just dump everything really. It's very easy and very simple. There's not a lot to it. This is one teaspoon of cinnamon. If you don't like cinnamon, you don't have to put cinnamon in there. And this is one teaspoon of nutmeg I put in there. And now here comes the baking powder that everyone has been asking me for. So now I will add baking powder, but I'm going to add one tablespoon. One tablespoon of baking powder. I add that to that. And here I have some cinnamon. I'm sorry. And here I have some vanilla essence. So I'm going to take two teaspoons of this vanilla essence. And I have here a glass of water. I'm going to add this to the water. So that's two teaspoons of vanilla essence to the water. And all I'm going to do now is mix this all up together. Oops, get everything mixed up together. The sugar is kind of a little bit lumpy, so you got to kind of... Okay, you don't want... You have your flour and you mixed everything up together nicely. You're going to make your little well right there. And you're going to take your glass of water that you have your essence in. And you're going to just pour some water right there in the center. And you're going to mix this in well. some more so this is the texture that you're looking for with your bakes when you add your water in and this is the kind of texture you're looking for see that texture guys that's what you're looking for so let's go over to the stove and get these bakes in the pan of oil when you're going to fry these bakes, you need to make sure that your oil is hot. Someone asked me, how do I know the oil is hot? So I know it this is how I test my oil to know if my oil is hot. I put my hand over here. When I put my hand over here, I can feel the heat from the oil come up to my hand. There, so I know my oil is hot. But another thing you do is you just drop, take a little piece of your bake and drop it in. You see how that starts to bubble? around there that's telling you that the oil is ready okay so you can go ahead and fry so i have here so what i do is i just go ahead and i just drop them like that okay just drop them there's no special way to drop these you can make them as big as you want or as small as you want there's no special way to do it Just go ahead and drop them, just like that. If you want it bigger, 
You can add a little more, make get a bigger spoon, drop it bigger. Up to you. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip it on the other side. See my oil is a little hot because it's start to brown already. You don't want you want your oil to be hot, but not too hot. But this is good. You flip it because you want them to cook on both sides. So you go ahead and flip. I need a That's not ready yet to be flipped. Okay guys, and that's it. So this is how you make your bakes. One, two, three, and you can get some bakes to eat. These are not very hard to do. And as I say, you can make them with baking powder or without baking powder so this is with baking powder try it both ways and see which one you like best i'm gonna finish these up and then i will come back and show you the finished results all right guys so our bakes are all done here they are they look good but let me explain a few things about bakes of eggs now i put one tablespoon of baking powder in here that's a lot of baking powder for some people because Baking powder tends to suck up a lot of the oil in there. I like to put one tablespoon of baking powder and if you put the oil hot and you put your bakes in, they fry quickly and you flip them on both sides and then it really does not suck up that oil because the temperature is hot. If the temperature drops down and it cools, then it suck up a lot of the oil. So just be careful with the temperature of your oil, okay? Um, sometimes, with bakes as well, people add all different things to bake. Some people add butter, some people add eggs, some people add milk. But to me, it's getting away from the traditional way of making it. The way I remember the old people making it is just some flour, some baking powder, if they do add it, and a little spices and the vanilla essence and some water and that's it. You know, people change it up today, but this is the original old fashioned way, okay? that I wanted to make for you today. So you can make it with baking powder or without baking powder. It's your choice. Let me go ahead and taste these for you. If you look at it, you can see it's not greasy, okay? It's not greasy. So let me just rip one and just try it for you. It's nice and it's soft. I also like it this way as well. I like it this way and I like it without. I can either way is good for me. Guys, and the one tablespoon of nutmeg that I put in there might be a little bit too strong for some people, so you can use less nutmeg. You use half a teaspoon instead of one teaspoon. This is delicious. I love me and old fashioned bakes every once in a while. Guys, don't forget to share the channel. If there's someone, there is a lot of people out there sometimes, believe it or not, that like bakes, but just don't know how to make it. And by sharing this channel, you give them an opportunity to make them if they want to, okay? If you like what you saw, just press the thumbs up and just give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to continue to follow me, press that bell icon. Because every time I put up a video, you will be notified. I had fun making these bakes, and I hope you have fun making some for your family. Until next time, bye-bye.